the U.S. there are 740 counties in which one out of five people live uh, in poverty, which is kind of the you know it's kind of the untold story sometimes of poverty in America because it's out of uh, it's out of sight and it's in places that are hidden. What you see when you go through many of the little small towns, they are drying up because whatever industry was there, they probably have pulled up and left. And then, of course, those who move, those are the people that have the education. So who does who's that leave back home? That leave a group of people who uh, don't have the means or the resources or the expertise that is really needs to build a community. Rural poverty is so spread out. It's almost like a hidden poverty. You can't see it. It's not, it's not in the city. It's not in the news all the time. So we just believe that it's important to really connect uh, those who have a heart with the rural community. I think we want to live productive lives. I think we want our children to be happy and well adjusted. We want them to be able to pursue or chase their dreams. I think we want to be able to provide for their needs. I think we want to be able to live comfortably without not knowing where your next meal is going to come from or whether your life is going to get cut off or something like that. Rural development for World Vision is mobilizing networks of Christian leaders in rural communities uh, to take on the transformation of their own communities and trying to support them in that process. And the way to do that is to engage in new forms of learning, new idea sharing, and even new opportunities. And World Vision has the ability to kind of bring those ideas into a community in a culturally sensitive way and help leaders adapt their approaches to poverty in a way that is more effective leading people out of generational poverty.